Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Yolanda. So y'all, please do not kill me. Please do not kill me. I know I have not uploaded a video in quite some time. Um, and I have a great, great explanation, a very happy explanation. Business has just been thriving for me. So I have just been consumed with working with my buyers and my sellers. Um, over the last couple of months, business has just exploded. And I mean, I basically got four listings, like meaning that I am representing the sellers versus buyers. So things have definitely have grown for my business. So that's a good thing. So don't kill me that I have not been able to upload. It's not that I have not been recording. I have been recording. I just cannot upload those videos just yet because the transactions have not closed and some of them are touchy situations and some of them have turned into legal situations. And I recorded it and documented the, the um, situations because I wanna make sure that things like this does not happen to you. So um, I just cannot upload them just yet. So today, as you can see through the title um, of the title that I am not going to be doing NACA anymore. So there's two reasons why I have decided to make this decision for myself that I cannot take on any more NACA um, clients is uh, number one, um, the actual program itself is just becoming more and more difficult for uh, buyers to work with their counselors and get through the program quicker. Um, so that's one because it's just getting more and more hectic with the process of the actual counselors either losing files or things are, things are just happening that is not in your control um, and it's completely out of your control and no buyer should have to go through any kind of you know stress when dealing with buying a home. I understand that you get all the benefits from NACA, but sometimes, you know, I just really feel like you should have a great experience when it comes to purchasing a home and not be stressed out. Um, and this is just a program, like I've mentioned in my videos before, it is definitely a tough program to go through. Yes, you do get the great benefits, but sometimes is it worth it? Is, is at the end of the day, is it worth it to you? The second reason why I'm not doing NACA um, anymore is because of, the people that have been contacting me directly. Now, I just want to be clear that I am not a NACA employee. I have mentioned that before, that I am strictly a licensed North Carolina realtor that is familiar with the NACA program and have actually helped buyers get through the program. However, the videos that I have posted, which is only um, like two or three videos, um, I'm getting an enormous amount of contacts, whether it's by email, whether it's on Instagram, or whether it's directly on the videos, of asking the same questions over and over and over again. Guys, I am one person, so I explain everything in detail in the videos, but I am getting questions about things that I've already discussed in the video. I don't want to ignore your messages, but if I've mentioned it a couple times in the video, for example, the shock payment, I am very, very clear. I don't know how else to explain the shock payment. I actually gave two examples of what a shock payment is, yet I am still getting an enormous amount of questions and needing clarification of the shock payment it can't be any more clear in the videos. Um, also, people are contacting me for tech support. Um, I don't work for NACA. I do not run their website. So contacting me because you are unable to upload a document. I mean, my life is so busy that I cannot answer every single question and I can only really focus on the questions that are relevant to what I do. So um you know so please forgive me guys i hope i'm gonna leave my videos up that i have 
uh, up there to help those who want to go ahead and pursue the NACA program. But I personally, uh, I'm done with NACA. I'm not going to be taking on any new clients. Anyone that I'm currently working with right now, I'm going to go ahead and help them with that. But anyone else going forward, I'm sorry, I cannot help you uh, with the NACA program because of the amount of business that I'm getting right now. Um, approximately, I want to say about 90%. 90% of my clientele are not NACA. They're just regular buyers, regular sellers, not going through the NACA program. However, my buyers are still getting down payment assistance. There are other ways to get down payment assistance than NACA. So that brings me to my next topic. What I have done is incorporated my own home buyer program with my credit repair company. So I do own um, a credit repair company and the difference is between my program and NACA is that you're not going to be able to um, get all of the funds that you are guaranteed through NACA. So you still have to save, you still have to get your credit score up, you still have to budget, you still are hold account held accountable. Um, the only difference is you don't have to start the program over again and you can utilize programs such as the North Carolina Housing Program or in Charlotte, they have House Charlotte. Those programs pay your down payment. Now, as far as closing costs though, for closing costs, you do have to come up with your own closing costs or if you're going with a builder, the builder typically will pay your closing costs or it will be negotiated in the contract for the seller to help you pay your closing costs. So those are the differences between my program, which is called Dreams to Homes. Now everybody has gone, you know, I've been having Dreams to Homes for a long time. Now what I'm doing is just incorporating it more so to have a full, um, spectrum or or full sphere of the home buying process not just credit not just budgeting but actually the home buyer education part of it so i'm combining everything together and dreams to homes.org so make sure you go to that website dreams to homes.org that is where i am now taking new clients um just strictly based on the fact that the naca program may not be for everyone so it's kind of like, you know, you're still, it's still pretty much the same structure as NACA. Um, it's just like, it's not as, it's going to be me. You're going to be working with me solely. So it's kind of like, um, and not solely, I'm sorry, you still have to, you know, my loan officers and things like that. If you've been following me for a while, you know, I have a whole team, but as far as you don't have to have a mortgage counselor and things like that. You don't have to show all your pay stubs every month. You're not, you don't have a shock payment and all that good stuff. So make sure you go to the website and check that out. So I wanted to get online today just to explain why I'm not doing NACA anymore and why I completely stopped doing NACA videos because they are getting overwhelming. The actual responses that I'm getting and uh, questions that I'm getting. I'm literally getting people contacting me from all over the United States. I have expressed in every single video that I'm only licensed in North Carolina and I can only go by the North Carolina guidelines. So I'm getting calls from Texas. I'm getting calls from Florida. I'm getting calls from Pennsylvania. I'm getting calls from California. Um, I cannot answer any questions about other states because their process of purchasing a home is completely different from North Carolina. So that's why I kind of just want to step back from NACA because I really want to, you know, continue to cater to my clients, clients that have already hired me already under contract and again i am only one person so i cannot stop what i'm doing with someone who's already hired me to answer a question over here that has already been answered in my previous videos so make sure you guys like this video comment down below subscribe to my channel i have a lot more coming and it's not going to be NACA related, but it is going to be about just surrounding about the process of purchasing a home. I'm also coming out with an ebook for home buyers. So I know everyone is, is, you know, used to me doing classes in the Winston-Salem area. I do a class or I was doing classes, um, 
pretty much every quarter to January, January and June, and then sometimes every quarter. It just depends on how hot the market was. I'm so used to doing classes in person. I am gonna go ahead and do a ebook to help you guys out in purchasing a home. And I'm also trying to figure out how to do a webinar. Instead of meeting in one spot and you having to leave your home, just trying to come up with ways where you can be in the comfort of your own home and still be able to get all the knowledge that you can in the home buying process. Also for sellers, I'm definitely out here selling homes like hotcakes. I just put three new houses on the market and I have two more coming up. Actually, I'm gonna put one on the market um, tonight so that it can hit the market in the morning. So if you are a seller, it is still hot. The market is still hot. If you're thinking about selling your home or upgrading, make sure you give me a call. Again, I am Yolanda Hayes and I am with Wilkinson ERA. I am a local realtor in the Triad area, Winston-Salem, High Point, Greensboro, and Lexington area. And I also do Charlotte by referral only. But thank you so much, guys, and you have a wonderful day.